Well, hello folks, this is Jamil Swift for Gunstock Reviews. We're here in Scottsdale, Arizona at C2 Tactical, our favorite indoor facility, with the Ruger PC carbine, well, half of it at least. Um, our setup that we have completely changed from the original carbine that we got at the end of 2017. This has been around for a while, for a couple of years, and it's done really, really good for us. And the first thing we did is we changed the handguard. Well, we changed the handguard twice already. It's been a project that we try new products and we change them, and the purpose of the gun changes. The original handguard was the really, really good TACCOM carbon fiber handguard, but that is more of a competition type of handguard, more relatable to lightweight and competition shooting in which you're not looking for something super sturdy, you just want something that is lightweight and does the job. And weight is very important when you're competing, okay? And then we shot the, the we changed that for the Midwest Industries 15 inch handguard and we did a video with it with the original uh, stock assembly on this uh, chassis. So now we put the Chrom uh, Condition Red Ordnance Manufacturing. This is an aluminum chassis. The cool thing about this chassis is, of course, it's heavier and you can use any stock you want as long as it fits a Mossberg shotgun. So this one is a Magpul stock for a Mossberg shotgun. You can actually, they sell a pistol grip type of AR stock with a pistol grip setup a pistol grip only. You can do all sorts of really cool things as long as it fits the Mossberg shotgun pattern, okay? So we're gonna put it together. Um, we uh, still have the same red dot I've used for a while, which is the um, Leupold, uh, you know, Delta Point Pro with the rear side assembly on it, which is pretty cool, so you can co-witness with it. And the original TACCOM compensator which is a two port compensator that is very effective. They no longer make that. And I also have the TACCOM uh, charging handle on the left side. And this is the original again, TACCOM charging handle that I had NP3 back in the days at Robar. They no longer make this same model. So, and one of the things people ask me, why don't you get the newest and greatest? It's like, well, I'm happy with these. Number one, I'm ha really happy with this compensator. The way it behaves is great. I like this charging handle. Um, again, it's great. Why change them? There's new products. Doesn't mean these are no longer good. I like these. So let's go ahead and shoot it for the first time on camera. I sighted this thing in at 25 yards. So this, they will be an offset. So I'm gonna try to aim at the very top ring of the uh, target here, about eight yards and see how it shoots. And today we're shooting the 150 grain um, Syntec ammunition. This is the USPSA ammo, specifically designed by Federal for PC carbines. It's a 150 grain bullet. Let's go ahead and do it. Okay. Now, this is what I call um, smooth shooting, really good shooting. I really like it. It is performing really well at this distance with this, and it feels like you're shooting a rimfire. There is almost no recoil. The combination of this ammo with this compensator is fantastic. I'm using, by the way, I'm using Magpul Glock 19 magazines, so it doesn't stick out as much. And you're gonna ask me why did you do these changes? I did these changes because I wanted something more of a tactical home defense uh, carbine instead of a competition carbine. Like I said, there's absolutely nothing wrong with a competition carbine. If you're into competition, this carbine is a great choice for you, okay? So, no, there's nothing wrong with it. I just changed, my, my needs were changed. Um, I wanted something different um, for competition. I have several other uh, carbines that I could use for competition. I wanted this one to be uh, more of a self-defense uh, tactical setup, and I, li I like the, a lot of the M-Lock slots on it. You can hang a bunch of stuff to it. Not that I'm gonna be hanging anything on it, um, but I think everything I need is here right now in this compact package that takes apart and goes into a 
small carry case that is nondescript, uh, is something that you can carry with you and nobody knows you're carrying a carbine with half a dozen or a dozen uh, 33 round Glock magazines. So again, this is a great choice. Hey guys, thanks for watching and always remain healthy, stay safe and have fun on the range. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our patron page at www.patreon.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.